I'm so damn pressed for the record button, but hello. What kind of impression was that? I do not know. The last couple of times I looked online, I saw something about Zoe having paparazzi and she was actually in the newspapers and they were calling her Zoe Wella because she wasn't wearing makeup and they were trying to take Mick out of her not wearing makeup. If my opinion, she was looking for us as always and they were taking Mick out of her just because she wasn't wearing makeup. What's wrong with not having a non makeup day? I mean, I'm not having one most of the time. But I wanted to talk about how YouTube has changed over the past couple of years and it's really getting to me but, but making YouTube videos has started to stop becoming a hobby as much as it used to be. It used to just be weirdos who made videos and now pretty much everybody makes videos, even celebrities. Some people are making them just to become big and famous and to be honest we actually just done it in a good old days to have some fun and because nobody else done it and we had nothing else to do because everybody was out at a party and maybe we want to pretend that we're having more fun than them but we're actually just talking to a camera in our bedrooms and I would prefer it stayed like that instead of just celebrities or anyone trying to get big on your own and something which has really caught my attention is this new company called Vessel where they pay you about $50 which is about 32 quid each thousand video views on their website and they upload any YouTube videos three days before it would actually be on YouTube itself and to be honest I'm starting to think anyone who's actually on Vessel not to name any names and point people out YouTube is what started it all off splitting the fandom up because the thing is anyone who gets a monthly subscription on Vessel will be getting videos three days before they're actually uploaded to YouTube and they might be even spoiling it for other people who don't have a monthly subscription by uploading the pictures on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, maybe even uploading the videos before they do on YouTube. That could be done very easily now if they agree to join Vessel that could be done very easily. It used to be all happiness about just a video being uploaded and now it's drama and a random disgusting breast. What is up with that breast? Please get off my timeline. And it's getting sadder for any small YouTubers. Not that it's a good thing to become a big account like that but it's getting a whole lot harder for small YouTubers who actually do deserve to. I just wanted to say that it's still, there should still be a difference between celebrities and YouTubers. So celebrities are the upper class who always walk on the red carpet, maybe even servants and mansion and things like that. And some of them are even famous for God knows what. Whilst YouTubers are known for their videos and what they upload in their content. How much money they earn, that has been going on for too long and it really needs to stop because you wouldn't get a article about how much a doctor or how much a normal person earns. You wouldn't get a news article like that whilst you keep getting them on YouTubers and it's like, please stop calling us money makers because we are not all money makers and we would prefer the term not money makers but people who have nothing better to do than record themselves on a camera because they don't want to be at the party but everyone else is at. I just feel like it's going to pull the YouTube family apart, supporters, they're all together and that's nice when they start to get split up because a vessel which wants to take away our happiness and make us pay money for watching videos which shouldn't be allowed because YouTube should stay free because it's one of the nicest things that is still free in the world and I really don't want it to go and start becoming something that you have to pay for because we already have to pay for a lot of things in the world please don't make YouTube start becoming one uploading YouTube videos was to connect with others because we didn't have any but we were too non-confident to find our own friends so we'd upload a video to connect with others and 
this festival site is only going to make it harder to connect with people as some people will have vessel to see the videos earlier whilst others would still be waiting for the video. YouTubers with normal upload days are Sug Sunday as an example. It's not really going to be a Sug Sunday anymore. I'm not saying they're in the vessel yes, I'm just saying that as an example. Don't. That's my shield. <laughs> but how do we connect with others if you turn into a YouTuber who's just expecting people to pay money to see your creations three days earlier. There's no way of paying to get a book earlier than the actual date it comes out. There's no way of getting a DVD earlier. There's no way of getting a magazine earlier. Things like that, you can't get those earlier. And then why have we started bringing creations at YouTube videos earlier? It's that festival has become trying to become the new thing and it's very miserable because it just can't become better than YouTube. It feels like you're just backstabbing YouTube by doing so. Thanks for watching whatever this was. Sorry about my spot but that's everyday life getting spots. It's a normal life for all of us. Yeah, really sorry but this is a wild video. Rad. How do you say that word? I've never said it out. I've just said it on your own. Damn it. <laughs> so what? What? Meh. Meh. What? Blah, 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 blah.